Welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today, I'll be making linguine with sardines and walnuts. Now, I'm using the walnuts in place of the toasted breadcrumbs that are typically used in this dish. The walnuts will add a nice flavor as well as a bit of crunch to balance out the other textures in the dish. Now, the best part about this one is the whole dish will be ready in 15 minutes and we'll only be using one large skillet. Let's get started. Okay, for this dish we'll need one can of sardines packed in olive oil, some quinoa linguine. I'm using two ounces today because I'm only cooking for one. One half of a small onion, one garlic clove, and one serrano pepper, all thinly sliced. Notice how the onions in the dish are sliced to mimic the pasta. That way they'll twirl nicely on the fork. We'll also need a few tablespoons of walnuts, some red pepper flakes, and some Parmigiano Reggiano that you've crumbled using the tip of your knife to break off tiny pieces to mimic about the same size and shape as the walnuts. You'll also need some olive oil and salt. All right, to make the dish, Add about a tablespoon or so of olive oil to a large skillet. Set it on a medium high burner. Then add the onion, garlic, and serrano pepper to the pan and saute them for two to three minutes or until they just start to turn brown. Now add the drained sardines and begin to break them up with your wooden spoon. Saute for another minute. Then push everything to one side of the pan. Now pour in about one cup of water and one quarter teaspoon of salt into the empty side of the pan. Anchovies could also work well here in place of the salt. Now place the linguine lengthwise across the center of the pan. But whatever you do, don't start stirring them around like crazy here. This is a long pasta shape and we want them to stay that way. So just use the back of your spoon to gently nudge the linguine back and forth to keep them moving as the liquid boils. They'll need to cook for about seven minutes. Just continue nudging them back and forth to make sure nothing is sticking together. If at any point the pan becomes too dry looking before the pasta is done, just simply add a bit more water. Now once you get about five to six minutes into this linguine babysitting process, Use your spoon to toss the sardine mixture over onto the side with the pasta. And now you can begin to gently stir everything around until the pasta is cooked to the desired consistency and every strand is nicely coated. All right, now the dish is ready to plate. Just pile up a nice mound of pasta in the center of your plate before spooning additional sauce over the top. Now sprinkle on the walnuts, those little chunks of Parmigiano Reggiano, and a sprinkle of red pepper flakes. And now you're ready to eat. Unless of course you're photographing the dish, cause then you'd better run out and get yourself some parsley before you take that close up shot. Seriously folks, sardines are incredibly good for you. And in this dish, they're incredibly good. So don't be afraid to give this one a try. And for more gluten-free recipes, or to see any of my recipes in print, just visit my blog. See you again soon!